Consolidated Contractors Company CCC Arabic, Shrakt Athad Almkolan is the largest construction company in the Middle East and ranks among the top 25 international contractors with a revenue of US$5.3 billion in 2013. CCC has offices and projects in over 40 countries, and a workforce of more than 130,000 employees. History In the summer of 1941, after having graduated from American University in Beirut, Hasib Sabah, one of the founders of CCC, returned to Palestine to find a job. After a number of disappointing job offers, he decided to start his own business and went to Beirut in spring 1948, where a number of his brothers and sisters had already sought refuge due to the Arab-Israeli war. Hasib set up his own company with his brother-in-law Said Khoury and some other businessmen from Syria and Lebanon, and called it Consolidated Contractors Company. The company's first headquarters was in Homs, Syria, but later moved to Beirut, where Hasib Saba, Said Khoury, and Kamal Abdelrahman became the sole owners of CCC. In 1950, CCC won a large contract to build pipelines from Kirkuk in Iraq, to Banyas in Syria, and Tripoli in Lebanon. In 1952, CCC was able to obtain another major contract for a Bechtel Wimpy joint venture, this time in Aden, to build a major refinery and a camp for workers. A year later, CCC won projects in the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, and Qatar. In 1973, CCC set up the National Petroleum Construction Company in Abu Dhabi to provide offshore services to the oil and gas industries in all the countries of the Persian Gulf. Today NPCC has an annual revenue of over US$800 million in 1975. When the civil war broke out in Lebanon, CCC moved its headquarters first to London and then to Athens in 1976. In the same year, ABD Al Rahman decided to sell his shares in CCC to Sabah and Khoury. In the 1980s, CCC was restructured and the CCC owners aimed at expanding the company's operations into Europe, the United States, and Asia. CCC bought Underwater Engineering, a British firm that worked on underwater oil projects, and ACWA, an environmental company. CCC also bought SICON, an Italian mechanical engineering company specializing in petroleum-related projects. They then acquired the Morganti Group, a construction firm in the United States, to diversify its projects. CCC started a partnership with Canadian Oxy, and won a bid to explore for oil in Masilla, South Yemen. Fortunately, oil was found in large quantities. Oil exports from Masilla peaked at 170,000 barrels per day. The Iraqi invasion of Kuwait in August 1990 dealt a heavy blow to CCC's operations in the Persian Gulf region. The company had to move all of its employees out of Kuwait and close down its business operations there. However, by the mid-1990s, CCC emerged again as a thriving company after having navigated successfully the economic and political downturns of the early 1990s growing into the versatile and diversified large international construction company it is today. 
Topic Notable projects CCC has a portfolio that includes oil and gas plants, refineries and petrochemical facilities, pipelines, power and desalination plants, light industries, water and sewage treatment plants, airports and seaports, heavy civil works, dams, reservoirs and distribution systems, road networks and skyscrapers. CCC is constructing the Riyadh Metro CCC constructed the Azerbaijani section of the Baku Tbilisi Sihan pipeline. The pipeline is a 1768 kilometers, 1099 miles long crude oil pipeline from the Azeri Chirag Gunishli oil field in the Caspian Sea to the Mediterranean Sea. It connects Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan and Sihan, a port on the southeastern Mediterranean coast of Turkey, via Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia. It is the second longest oil pipeline in the former Soviet Union, after the Druzhba pipeline. CCC's scope included engineering, procurement, installation, construction and commissioning of 886 km crude oil and gas pipeline. CCC built the $1 billion Presidential Palace in Abu Dhabi. The palace houses the offices of the President, the Crown Prince, and ministers. It is set on a 1,500,000 square m including the palace, which will be 160,000 square m. The ancillary buildings, over a site of 23,000 sqm, includes a public majlis, a mosque, staff and military accommodations, a services compound, and various gatehouses and watchtowers. The project also includes 2,000 meters of 6 meter seawall and 4 million cubic meters of dredging. CCC is now constructing in a joint venture the Riyadh Metro, a joint venture between CCC and Saipam, constructed the main works at the Karachaganak field in western Kazakhstan. The project's S value was about $1.1 billion. The contract covered civil works, infrastructures and mechanical works related to a production unit and gas reinjection facilities, a gas process plant and a 635 km by 24 inches pipeline with a pumping station and terminal. In Abu Dhabi, CCC contributed to the construction of the offshore associated gas project, and Habshan facilities and the largest ethylene cracker in the world. The ongoing projects are the landmark Abu Dhabi, once completed in 2011, the development will be the second highest tower in Abu Dhabi 324 meters, Khalifa Port Shah Sulfur Station and Pipelines, elsewhere in the Persian Gulf, CCC has been working on a number of major projects in Qatar, including, Kassania producing facilities and gas plants in Saudi Arabia's eastern province. The Khalifa Sports Hall, Doha, Qatar. This new sports hall is the world's largest air-conditioned indoor facility of its kind. CCC also built the Nile Corniche project in Cairo, one of the largest construction projects in Egypt and the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Doha. Topic major projects CCC has completed the construction of the largest gas to liquids GTL project in the world. The Qatar Gas 3 and 4 LNG plant, trains 6 and 7 in Qatar, the largest LNG trains in the world at 7.82 mtpa. 
With these two trains completed, CCC can proudly announce that it is the most experienced worldwide liquefied natural gas LNG construction contractor, having achieved the completion of 17 LNG trains with a total capacity of 82 mtPa, equivalent to 30% of all LNG facilities in the world. The Dubai Mall, which was constructed by CC CCC is the largest shopping center in the world. The project comprised a 515,000 square meters mall area, which is about the size of 50 soccer fields, a 550,000 square meters car parking area, and a district cooling plant building of 42,000 refrigeration tons. The Dubai Mall boasts the Dubai Aquarium, which is a 270-degree walk-through tunnel and the world's largest viewing window. The Dubai Aquarium and Discovery Center which is an education ecology and marine life experience center, clinched the Guinness World Record for the world's largest acrylic panel, measuring 32.88 meters wide times 8.3 meters high by 750 millimeters thick, and weighing 245,614 kilogram Princess Nora Bint Abdul Rahman University site works infrastructure and utility plant is one of the ten largest universities universities in the world and is the largest women-only university in the world. It is the first green campus in Saudi Arabia. The 8 million square M comprises academic buildings, administration buildings, a hospital, research centers, staff and student housing, schools, sports facilities, plant and utility buildings and a 5 km long utility tunnel. The university can accommodate up to 40,000 students and 4,000 employees. Topic airport projects The midfield terminal of the Abu Dhabi International Airport, a US$3.2 billion project, was awarded to the joint venture of CCC, TAV and Arabtech. The 700,000 square meters midfield terminal building is one of the largest airport projects ever conceived and will more than double passenger capacity at Abu Dhabi International Airport to 47 million people, in line with passenger projections up until at least 2030. The Muscat International Airport expansion is a multi million US dollar project. 2009 to 2014 that will increase the airport's capacity by 12 million passengers per year. The joint venture between CCC and Turkey's TAV was awarded the US$1.3 billion contract to carry out all the civil works. This includes construction of a new airfield northern runway and all associate taxiways, refurbishment of the existing airfield, all utility works, construction of utility buildings and substations, airside and landside road system including bridges and interchanges, drainage works, and soft and hard landscaping. CCC also constructed the six-lane flyover bridge linking the new Muscat Airport to the 18th of November Street. CCC was heavily involved in the construction of the new the Hamad International Airport in Qatar. Across several packages, CCC's scope entailed the air traffic control tower and its support facilities, midfield area access system, midfield telecommunication building, fire stations, administrative building blocks, the medical center and employee village, the general aviation hangar and the solid waste handling facility, a joint venture between Vinci SA, CCC 
Tav and Odebrecht was awarded in 2007 the construction of the US$2 billion United States dollars new Tripoli International Airport terminal buildings in Libya. The two terminals will have a total built area of 325,000 square m and will accommodate up to 20 million passengers annually. The construction was not hold due to the political instabilities in the region but has now resumed. CCC is also building the US$500 billion United States dollars new passenger terminal at the Saba Airport in southern Libya, a joint venture between Hoktif and CCC built the US$490 million United States dollars Rafik Hariri International Airport in Beirut, Lebanon between 1994 and 2000, the Como Airport and infrastructure in Papua New Guinea was construction by the McConnell and CCC joint venture. Located 1,600 metres above sea level, the runway is 3.2 kilometres long and 45 metres wide. The airfield is designed to specifically accommodate the Antonov and 124 Ruslan planes. These massive Ukrainian cargo aircraft will bring in large pieces of equipment for the construction of the PNG LNG project's Hydes gas field conditioning plant, which is located 10 km away to the northeast of Como Airfield. The airfield will also be used as a base to fly in workers on Bombardier Dash 8 aircraft to assist future upstream efforts in the wider region. <laughs> <laughs> 